Maker combos only, but I think it can work. Turn to pick. And so what other good laners are there available against Invoker? Gonna get, we are going to have EG going aggressive, so looking towards that top lane, but in response, Liquid will change their lanes up. They're, they're going to make sure that the Bristleback's up there to tank the tri lane and uh -oh. have Matumba farming down on the bottom. He didn't hit the range screen. In fact, now, GH, he's going to get the courier. He's, he just walks in and he just gives it a whack. And in fact, Samel may be in trouble as well. He's been cornered off by the Fisher, walks into the Sunstrike Strike as Miracle beautifully predicts his movement. Uh, and that middle of Liquid GH making continuous round trips to all Shrine. I mean, top lane, they really do want to do something about Arteezy. He's been keeping fantastic control of the lane here with Crit. And now the wraparound comes through. GH lands the Fisher, the Frostbite, the Sun Strike, more than enough to bring him down. Crit will try and get himself back to safety, but it's not going to happen. Enchant Totem there to cancel the TP. And GH able to survive this rotation. The next level, just stand in place. <laughs> it seems to be the play here for Samael. Can't read your mind if you don't think. <laughs> top lane, Zai getting closed in upon, mind controlling Kuroki, see a chance. No, he's but, yeah, there's, that's the thing, GH won all three lanes yep. and stacking both ages. I thought it was one ages. I was already pretty impressed. This is insane. He is, there's never any downtime for GH, that's for sure. Bottom lane, EG opening up onto Matumba Man, GH moving into position, making sure that they they do hold back, but now he's been caught out by Gust. Now the upheaval, starting to slow him down, Zai does land the route, but Liquid, they're going to come in and try and fight in return. They'll keep GH safe, the dust is out, Zai has been trapped up by the walls, and Liquid are the ones to make the play down here, despite EG's best efforts. May not be done yet as well as Matumba closing in onto Arteezy. Mind control as well, ready to make sure that the gap is closed. The first coup is out. Is the Shadow Work going to be enough to save him? It's... Ooh, it is! I can't believe he got out of that. He gets himself away. Arteezy will survive. Crit, maybe the one to attack this. No, he'll try for the TP as well. Is he going to be as successful? He is. TP scrolls. Because usually he's one farming your mech and then push. But they are not in that in that place right now. They're not in the good spot. And GH EG just desperately looking for any sort of fight that they can try and come out on top GH of. GH getting ran at by Zai right. with an Ion Shell. Here we go. This looks to be the kill for EG as they'll come through with a final punch. Yes, and now the Drow Ranger feels stifled, as does the rest of the EG lineup. Sumail getting closed in upon. Does have the Moonlight Shadow. See if they have the detection, they do. Fisher there as the sentries dropped along with the sun strike straight into Samael's cranium. But yeah. it's still a good... It, he doesn't have a blink, so it's not like he's going to use the Echo, but it looks like he is I about guess. to die here. Yeah, he's going to pay for this one. Zai comes back in with Universe, and Universe says, ha Despite having all these team fight ultimates because they fell so far behind in the early game. Oh, Miracle, Tornado up to the high ground, gets two in the combo, Crit and Zai left high and dry, Zai's down, Crit trying to hide up, but the Sentry's down, they've got Vision upon him, Sun Strikes there from Miracle as he picks him up as well, we two dead on EG. This eggs already. Yeah, Ruh -roh. At this pace, we could see Miracle doubling the net worth of Samael. Top lane though, aren't easy. Does find potential for a solo kill. Looks to Gus, GH backwards. In fact, GH is just fogging him. He can't get the vision to finish off the shaker kill, and now Arteezy could be in trouble. He has got his friends on his way over, but Mind Control's there on the front lines. Echo Slam this time, it will be enough with the Sun Strike to bring down Artor. Zai's trying to come back in. They do get the three-man golem. GH won't be able to hold them back with the enchant totem as he will fall. Kuroki with the freezing field. They try to cancel it with the arrow there, but the creep's blocking it, causing Zai to fall to the damage. Now Sumail trying to DB out in the middle of the tree, but they have the vision. Cold snaps there. Sumail drops as well. And again, is on the bottom, trying his best to climb towards that Aghanims. Now they've got to come back, though. Pressure's onto the high ground. Liquid moving onto tier threes. Sumail and Artor, they have to come back eventually. Sumail now TP's home. Arteezy will stay in the middle lane. Says the aura is all I'm offering in this team fight, boys. And that may just be enough. Samael's presence starting to slow the pressure down. Liquid struggling to fight through the living armor, but now they see a chance. Crit 
Knocked around by the Shrine. Won't pop it. Doesn't need to. Now it comes through. Universe says keep yourself healthy. Knocked the Shrine. Now the combo. Coming in with a back wall. But in response, GH don't fall with the Echo Slam. Samel tries to leap away. But Liquid, they're kept alive. The combo just isn't enough. Even with the multi-man vacuum and chaotic offering, they just can't bring Liquid down. They stay alive. EG to fall. Drow has to buy back into this one. They'll finally catch Matumba on the retreat of it all. They need something big. They need a huge cleanup here, EG. They tried to find mind control. It's not enough damage. The male jump four for it. Rules here on to Miracle. Miracle now turning, trying to finish off Sai. Sai on the way up to the high ground, jukes out the tornado. Miracle turns around with the deafening glass. Samel caught out. The sun strike is going to get No! The lead just in time to keep Samel safe. RTG again, holding back Liquid with the three man gust. Again, a very scrappy tier two go. But the next tier three push is going to be again when things get tricky for Liquid. I say that though, Miracle, he actually finds the two-man combo here on the high ground, just brings down Zai. And just like that, one hero less. Let's see what they can get out of this. Liquid might not suspect this, knowing that the offering has already been used. But in fact, well, GH with this invis, he spotted out any sort of plan from EG. And they're going to be able to punish as Zai caught out by that invis rune Earthshaker. And G certainly have the, the position to do so. He nailed that staircase. There we go. Mind control. On the front lines. Crimson guard out. RTZ trying to push them back, but against the bristle, very much a tickle. Samel actually leaps down to the low ground here. Will be cold snap. And that gives Liquid the chance to finish off the tier three in the middle. Matuma Man trying to lock in onto RTZ. But EG now with Zai back alive. Living armor there. Still about a minute or so before it's there. But look at my control. He's in prime position. They do have the moonlight the though to try and close the gap. And here we have it. Revealing themselves onto mind control. Zai trying to get in position for an overgrowth. If any sort of response comes through. And here it has Miracle with the tornado. EMP and Meteor GH coming in with a three man echo slam. Catching the backliners of Evil Genius. His universe drops the vacuum wall. The Star Storm combo from Samael will bring down only a CM as Liquid just clean up. Blink fall from Miracle as they find out. TZ crit to be taken down as well as the triple kill is there and the patience and positioning from GH there in that fight ready to jump in and just make sure that EG could not follow through on the commitment onto the bristle what an echo I cannot imagine EG's disappointment Liquid ready for the push of course last fight there wasn't a chaotic offering it was still unavailable and even if it wasn't there would have been no chance for him to drop it so Crit does have that for this high ground defense. No ball. We'll see how much Liquid care about that though. As Mind Control straight up forces out the fortification. Miracle with the cheese ready for this fight. Aegis of course on Bristle. And how do they stop this? Looks like they may be able to bring him down the once and indeed they will. So Aegis is popped. They All three of their lanes looking relatively okay I suppose. I like this little smoke up here behind Bristle. They know that EG's put that wall down, has that vision. They want to try and work around it. Kuroki getting some high ground for themselves. It will be immediately dewarded. GH jumping in with a Fisher. Crit taken down by a Sun Strike. Has to buy back. They need the chance for a chaotic offering if they want to have any hope of holding off this fight. Matuma Man moves forward with the BKB, but he will be rooted up the wall. In fact, the illusion just ripping him to pieces, but he will be kept alive. Backs away. Will survive that initial jump. There's the vacuum onto two, but there's no follow through. Other than the Golem just chasing them down. EMP making sure the smell falls back again. GH! And with the three-man Echo Slam once again, sending three of EG straight to their grave. Samael, such strike there for Miracle to bring him out and down. EG, they only have buyback on two of them. And in fact, Zai, he could be in trouble as well. Miracle moving in, has the cold snap. Zai can't even get off a living armor. It's a dead armor. It's a dead tree. And GG is cool. GH that game. From the early stage, the roaming to the late, later game, Echo Slams. What a performance. I mean, what a game. That's incredibly hard to pull off, too.